Good day, everyone! Welcome to our informational vlog. I am Princess Anne Emson Chanes. Together with my teammates, and welcome to Sea World Channel. And this time, we are going to talk about global demography. So, I am going to introduce you first to the word demography. So, the term demography was derived from the Greek word demos for population and graphia for description or writing. So, that's the phrase, writings about population. It was coined by Achille Gilliard, a Belgian statistician in 1885. However, the origins of modern demography can be traced back to the John Grant's analysis of Bills of Mortality, which was published in 1662. So by its meaning, as cited by Tulchinsky, demography refers to the study of populations with reference to size, density, fertility, growth, age distribution, migration, and vital statistics, and the interaction of all this with social and economic conditions. As such, demography is based on vital statistics reporting and special surveys of population size and density. It measures the trends over time. Demographic transition started in mid or late 1700s in Europe during the time that rates and fertility began to decline. Hmm. High to low fertility happened in 200 years in France and 100 years in the United States. In other parts of the world, the transition began later. It was only in the 20th century that mortality declined in Africa and Asia. With the exception of Japan, in India, life expectancy in India was only 24 in the early 20th century while the same life expectancy occurred in China in 1929. Until 1931, fertility decline in Asia did not begin until the 1950s and so on. In the case of Japan, it was until the 1930s the total fertility rate did not drop below 5 births for women. 185 this resulted in rapid population growth after the Second World War affecting the age structure of Asia and the developing world. Specifically, the baby boom in developing world was caused by the decline of infant and child mortality rates. The West, on the other hand, experienced baby boom that resulted from rising birth rates. Oh. Effect of demographic transition A remarkable effect of the demographic transition is the numerous gap in life, expectancy that emerged between Japan and the West on the one hand and the rest of the world on the others. By 1820, the life expectancy at birth of Japan and the West was 12 years greater than of others' country. It increased by 20 years by 90s. Although there was an improvement in life expectancy all throughout the world in 90s, 90s, 50. The gap has reached 22 years. In 1999, the gap declined to 14 years. These differences in times of transition affect the global population. During the 19th century, Europe and the West an increase in share in the world's population from 22% to 33%, while Asia and Oceanian contribute drop from 69% to 56.7%. India and China suffered from economic stagnation and decline during that time. This was a reverse in the global population, shared during 20th century as African, Asia, Latin America, and Oceanian had high levels of population growth rates. Population growth shared a how remarkable shift between 1820 and 1980. 69.3% of the world's population growth occurring in Europe and West strain of shoots. Between 1950s and 2000, however, only 11.7% occurred in the region. The United States protect that population growth will be shifted towards Africa. It is estimated 
by 2150, the religion share to the world population will be almost 20% relatively much greater than its shares in 19, no, 1820 or 7% and 1906% also in 2150 there will be a projected increase of 2 billion and we combine the population of Asia, Latin America and Australia. In terms of age structures, the overall trend in Japan and the West downward until 1950. Their dependency ratio was to 0.5. It's only increased although temporary when the baby boom after the Second World War occurred. Japan dependency ratio, however, increased between 1888 and 1920. Its dependency ratio was higher than the West between 1920 and the early 1950s. It dropped in 1970 and Later, since the precision's decline in the childbearing during 1950s and low fertility rates in recent years, the developing countries like India and the Philippines has higher dependency ratios than the West in 90s. A great increase in dependency ratio was caused by the decline in infant and child morality and high levels of fertility. With its peak around 1970, dependency ratio start to disappear because there is a decline in global birth rate. Furthermore, the gap in fertility between the West and the less developed countries became smaller by 20th century. Over the next 50 years, the case of dependency ratio of these two areas in the world will be res resigned. The aging population will cause an ratio and dependency ratio is starting in the West. Theory of Demographic Transition Demographic Transition Theory suggests that future population growth will develop along predictable four or five stage model. Stage 1 In Stage 1, pre-industrial society, death rates and birth rates are high and roughly in balance. An example of this stage is the United States in the 1800s. All human populations are believed to have had this balance until the late 18th century when this balance ended in Western Europe. In fact, growth rates were less than 0.05% at least since the agricultural revolution over 10,000 years ago. Population growth is typically very slow in this stage because the society is constrained by the available food supply. Therefore, unless the society develops new technologies to increase food production, discovers new sources of food or achieves higher crop yields, any fluctuation in birth rates are soon matched by death rates. Stage 2 In Stage 2, that of a developing country, death rates drop rapidly due to improvements in food supply and sanitation, which increase lifespans and reduce disease. Afghanistan is currently in this stage. The improvement is specific to food supply typically includes selective breeding and crop rotation and farming techniques. Other improvements general, generally include access to technology, basic healthcare, and education. For example, numerous improvements in public health reduce mortality, especially childhood mortality. Prior to the mid-20th century, these improvements in public health were primarily in the areas of food handling, water supply, sewage, and personal hygiene. Another variable often cited is the increase in female literacy combined with public health education programs which emerged in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. In Europe, the death rate decline started in the late 18th century in Northwestern Europe and spread to the South and East over approximately the next 100 years. Without a corresponding fall in birth rates, this produced an imbalance and the countries in this stage experienced a large increase in population. In Stage 3, Birth Rate Falls Mexico population is at this stage. Birth rate decreased due to various fertility factors 
such as access to contraception, increasing wages for urbanization, a reduction in subsistence agriculture, an increase in the status and education of women, a reduction in the value of children's work, and increase in parental investment in education of children and other social changes. The population growth begins to level up. The birth rate decline in developed countries started in the late 19th century in Northern Europe. While improvement in contraception do play a role in birth rate decline, it should be noted that contraceptives were not generally available nor widely used in the 19th century and as a result likely did not play a significant role in the decline then. It is important to note that birth rate decline is caused also by transition in values, not just because of the availability of contraceptives. During stage 4, there are both low birth rates and low death rates. Birth rates may drop to well below replacement level as it happened in countries like Germany, Italy, and Japan, leading to a shrinking population, a threat to many industries that rely on population growth. Sweden is considered to currently be in stage 4. As the large group born during the stage 2 ages, it creates an economic burden on the shrinking working population. That rates may remain consistent low or increase slightly due to increases in lifestyle disease due to low exercise level and high obesity and an aging population in developed countries. By the late 20th century, birth rates and death rates in developed countries leveled off at lower rate. Some scholars delineate a separate deep stage of below replacement fertility levels. Others hypothesize a different stage involving an increase in fertility. The United Nations Population Fund categorized nations as high fertility, intermediate fertility, or low fertility. The United Nations anticipate the population growth will triple between 2011 and 2000 in high fertility countries, which are currently concentrated in sub Saharan Africa. For countries with intermediate fertility rates, the United States, Asia, and Mexico all fall into this category. Growth is expected to be about 26%. Low fertility countries like China, Australia, and most of Europe will actually see a population decline of approximately 20%. Thank you for watching C4 Channel.